Let's go. So this is officially the first episode of Studio Tours with Khalil. And I think it makes sense that I should start with my studio, right? I have um, had the studio now for three years. It's located in Wuse, Abuja, Nigeria. I've been lucky. I feel like I'm fortunate to have this space. I've created some, I'd like to think, incredible images here. So if you come along, let me just show you around, right? So um, over on this side, this is probably the busiest part of the studio. There are some people here pretending to work. Right next to me here is Joel Abila, studio manager, photographer. Over there is our delegate, the guy that shares dollars for us. I the studio, a huge, huge, you know, friend of the studio. Um, obviously, we have prints on the wall. This is probably the most popular, famous picture that I've taken. Everybody absolutely loves this. This is our round table that is a rectangle. We gather around here. This is where all of the editing happens. This is where we have meetings. We sometimes eat over here, you know. It's our gathering spot, right? We have logo in the background. Even though this is my oldish logo, I have the newer, shorter one, but hey, this still works. You're clearly, it shows you clearly where you are, right? We're huge tea people in this studio. So if you'd come closer, let me show you. This is like our tea stand. We have regular schmegular stuff like this, but then we also have proper, the good stuff, right? For people that like tea. Um, shout out to 191 Gift Box. You know, we got that from her. Um, two IMAX, they do the job. We're lucky to have them. Bluetooth speaker over there. And we have our printer over here. It's nice, it comes in handy. Every once in a while we print images out of that. So yeah, that's basically our workstation, right? This is like our, our vanity mirror. Everybody that comes in here tries to get a selfie out of this, right? Um, large enough, people love it. I feel like I should put like a logo behind you know, so that everybody knows where these pictures were taken or whatever. But yeah, for a lot of people, this is their favorite part of the studio. Um, this chair has quite the history, right? It has been passed down from great photographer to great photographer to me, hopefully soon to be a great photographer as well. Um, let me not call people's names. Let's just say that this has been passed down from studio to studio and I'm lucky to have it and hopefully I'll pass it on to somebody else, right? Let's move along. This is the largest image in the studio. Um, everybody sees and they think Doba, right? Because, well, it looks like one, but actually this is a picture that was taken at a wedding. The person in the center is a groom. There's what's called Hawan Angonchi, where grooms from like royal families ride around their communities just to announce, hey, I'm off the market, you know. So I found this interesting. I got the picture off of a car and I was sitting on the car when I took the picture. So I really cherish this image. And 60 by 40, 60 inches by 40 inches is by far the largest picture in the, in the studio. And I love it, you know, and people seem to react positively to it as well. This cow was the first thing that came into the studio. It was the first thing, like once we we're done with painting and all of that, the first thing that came into the studio was this couch. So it deserves a lot of respect. People just come and jump on the couch and you know, like, you know. Anyway, so um, we have plants. I like greens. The idea was for this space to be cozy, you know, comfortable, let people feel at home. And I feel like plants help with that and you probably notice as well the black and white aesthetic those are the major tones in this space and hey like i said i love it it's my space man it helps with my creativity and whatnot it's calm it's me right okay so this wall is very popular it's on my website i shot earlier in front of this my first video was shot in front of this i clearly like this wall right 
Again, another image that I really like. This is um, one of our favorite clients. I don't know if you want me to put her on blast and say her name, but hey, um, really love the image. A lot of photographers gravitate towards this. Medium format, right? I really wish that this was working. I really wish that we could shoot with this. It had made for some incredible images. Our studio manager, Joel, Joel just showed up one day with a briefcase, looking like somebody that, you know, came with a lot of money and this was in it. Just some treasure that he found in the family house and we absolutely love it. We use it for props and whatnot, but maybe we should get it looked at and see what kind of images we can create out of this. So, more greens. Um, we have a few photography books, but also a few books on business. Canadian Art Fest, you know, family, Habiba. We love this. We have a bunch of old cameras. Whenever you're in the studio, let's play Jenga. This is always fun. This is always, always fun. In fact, I feel like this is why some people come to the studio sometimes, right? Um, we must hydrate. So, dispenser, fridge. So, this is the shooting area of the studio. Um, this side of the wall. I'm actually leaving it plain. I'm not sure yet what I want to do with it. Do I want to put more frames up? Do I want to put up a piece of art? Do I want somebody to draw on it? I'm not decided yet, so I'm still leaving it, you know. When the creative juices flow, we'll see. This is our Ottoman, always comes in handy, you know. We use it for shoots, um, when we're having like small gatherings, classes, you know, people sit on it. But it also doubles as storage, right? So our light stands and modifiers and whatnot go into here. So yeah, this is, it's pretty handy, you know. Right, so this is our plain wall. Like I said, I'm looking at you, Williams Chachat. This wall is waiting for you, right? Frames on the wall, they, these are just typical photo frames and we just painted over them. We use this for backdrops sometimes and the three old men, the stools are right there. So this feels kind of like the storage part of the studio. We have a bunch of our backdrops here, light stand. This is our charging dock, right? This is where all of our lights, all of our batteries, this is where everything gets charged. Um, we like to keep stuff organized. It's not always like this, but hey, for this video. <laughs> um, yeah, and then just a lot of stuff that helps. We have our reflectors, Apple boxes, V-flats, right? Us photographers know the use of this. This isn't clearly your typical V-flat. These are pulley boards and um, they serve the same purpose, you know use it to throw light back. Sometimes we even use them as backdrops and whatnot. So yeah, these are very useful in the studio. So I feel like one last thing I should mention before we go is the floor. I mean, if you check it out, our black tiles are a huge part of the look and feel of the studio. Um, people often wonder like, how do you guys keep it clean? You know, there tends to be a lot of mopping and whatnot, keeping it in good condition, but absolutely makes the place unique. We love it. People who visit here love it. Um, the black and white aesthetic is actually fantastic. So um, yeah, that's our space. Feel free, stop by, check it out. Bring work, <laughs> right? Whenever you're about. Thank you. <laughs>